In this short clip, we'll be looking at body composition and metabolism. It's a short section, and the concept we focused on for the most part is the concept of post workout elevation of metabolism. So, in 2002, in my Get Buff 2 book, I wrote about it. Hey, in addition to whatever calories or energy you'd burned during a workout, you'd raise your metabolism for the next few days. And I said, remember, Burning calories is just not about how many you burn now, but the energy used as a result of the elevation in metabolism. That can occur for hours through to days after workout. It was in 2002. Four years later, someone else wrote, for fat loss, the post-workout period is where the most important something happens. We cannot ignore the post-workout period. That's where the adaptation happens. That's where the results are. I've hypothesized that it's related to the epoch, a post-exercise elevation of metabolism. Unique. And seven years after Get Buff 2, another author published that the afterburn effect is when you've pushed your body during a workout at a high enough intensity to create a state in which you'll continue to burn calories at an accelerated rate for the next 24 to 48 hours. So when we put those two side by side, and I speak about burning calories, not just about how much you burn now, but the energy used as a result of a state in which you'll continue to burn calories, elevation of metabolism, and an accelerated rate that can occur for hours through the days after workout for the next 24 to 48 hours.